this is such an awful angle, but I, I'm not even going to share this, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to get out this awesome story that I heard today. It was so cool. Okay. Oh my gosh, in case I share it. <laughs> anyway, alright, so I'm like a bit obsessed with Kaula at the moment. That's all I can think about, talk about. It's probably really annoying for all my friends. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I've got this video today, which was this, uh, the rabbi from Chabad, from Poe, Poe, I don't know how to say it, um, and he was telling a story, and basically, long and short of it, he was invited to speak in front of the UN, but he didn't know what he was going to talk about, and someone came to visit him, another rabbi, Shaliach, from somewhere, and he brought this up, and he was like, the Rebbe was meant to speak. 32 years ago at the UN, and for whatever reasons it didn't happen, uh, and he wrote a speech, and the speech has just been like sitting on a shelf, or I don't know, whatever, file or whatever, for 32 years, and he's going to read it, and it's soon to be 25 years since the Rebbe died, and um, I love the Rebbe. The Rebbe has like saved me at certain points. I'm not a Chabadnik. But like I really identify with Chabad and Rebbe. But anyway, the point in the story was that the he he gave the speech today at the UN, and today also is this like crazy auspicious day. One of the Rebbe's teachings is that today, the twenty third of Sivan, the day's finished now, but earlier on, is one of these like crazy powerful days where we get to decide the fate of the world, pray for the fate of the world. I mean. I, I feel like I'm forever saying this is such a switch, but it's because everything is, everything is so laden with so much potential and meaning. But without going into the details as to why today was so special and important, the fact that he actually ended up giving this speech on this day, and in this speech, I just watched it. Maybe I'll share the link. Oh, it was so powerful, but his main message was spread the light. Let children have a day, a moment of reflection each day and spread the light, like use our, he lost his finger and he's like, use this finger to point out the good in people. Use this finger to show people the way. Like each one of us has so much potential and so much power. When are we really gonna believe it? I mean, yeah, it's a trip. Anyway, I wanted to get that out, so it's out. Good night.